Welcome to day 64 on the trail. Today is Sunday, May 27. And walking out of the Harper's Ferry area, just crossed Highway 304. And heading up the trail. Today's goes 20 miles or so. Not sure what shelter I'll hit. There's so many people out here this weekend that's going to be dependent on crowds. Section hikers, through hikers, and uh, weekend people. Trail was packed. So, yesterday was 15.4 in Harpers Ferry, and uh, moving on toward that uh, mathematical midpoint now. Just left that uh, psychological midpoint, and um, should hit it in a couple days. So, anyway, let's get some miles down, and we'll see you up the trail. This area, and here's the state park now, and it. It's part of, or was part of, in the war between the states, the Antietam campaign, and I think the Battle of South Mountain. And uh, it's a pretty impressive monument over there. A lot of uh, placards and billboards around that tell the story, but. Um, Antietam is also known as Sharpsburg. Antietam for the name for the creek and Sharpsburg for the town. But I think all this stuff is part of South Mountain. This is the view from the top of the Washington Monument. Look at that thunderstorm in the distance right there. I think that's kind of bad news. I believe it's heading this way. I'm going to hurry up and get down off of here. And Head toward the shelter, about three miles out. Awesome view. All right, this is a uh, footbridge across I-70. There's a blaze. Kind of cool. All right, here we are getting on the trail for another day. Walking out the campsite at Pine Knoll Shelter. And today is Monday, 28th of May, day 65 on the trail. And happy Memorial Day to everybody. Hope you all had a great weekend and enjoy a day off from work today. Yesterday was uh, 20 miles from Knoxville, Maryland over to here and really don't have a destination for today. I'm going to go at least 20. I think there's a shelter at 20, 21 and then reevaluate from there. 6.30 so I'm getting a tad bit early start than normal and uh, there is another shelter around 25 or 26 so ideally i'd like to get to there but we'll see but uh all things uh go smooth be at least another 20 mile day all right let's get rolling and check in up the trail man walking along this morning's kind of i don't know sort of uh, almost magical. It's like you're in the, this woods, the birds are singing, it's foggy, rain still dripping out of the trees, and just cruising along. Thinking about yesterday, coming across South Mountain, and all those memorials for the Battle of South Mountain and the war between the states during the uh, South's campaign into Maryland that uh, culminated at the uh, Battle of Antietam. It was uh, cool and, and sad at the same time. 
and then coming across the Washington Monument State Park with that little castle overlook and man there's some people set up with some trail magic at the Mount Vernon shelter it's a shelter right in the park and it really topped off a good day yesterday and this old fire road is any indication of the trail today definitely be able to put down 20 plus miles without much trouble hope that didn't just jinx myself but I don't know it's just something thinking about 1862 and those armies moving through these woods probably on some of these same old roads I wonder if there's any haunted woods around here anyway it's uh, so far it's been a good morning let's get on up the trail all right man I knew that smooth trail was too good the last the last solid hour has been through slick wet rock gardens like this one so it really slows the pace down gotta get it done this is just ankle twisting treachery for as far as the eye can see yeah this is the trail down through here pretty amazing all right goodbye Dixie Hello, Roxylvania. Leaving Maryland and pushing north. Sign the book in there and uh, heading on. Count down to Katahdin. All right, it's about 6.30 on Tuesday, May 29th. And I believe that's day 66, and I'm just walking out of campsite at Deer Lick Shelters. Yesterday was, I believe, 22.7 miles, and man, it was a mix. It was anything from <clears throat> the smoothest, fastest trail you've ever seen to just downright treacherous rock gardens that you uh, really have to slow down and pick your way through. Not sure what today has in store, but there are shelters on the guidebook look like scattered pretty close gaps up the trail. So just gonna head up the trail and uh, hopefully get another 20. But I think at mile 13, 13 and a half, there's a little town we'll walk, that uh, I'll walk through that has a restaurant and according to the guidebook an ice cream parlor that is barely off the trail so that's sounding pretty good for lunch just have to wait and see I'm not sure what that big storm is going to do that's heading either up the coast or more inland so we could get a bunch of rain from that and that would certainly uh, change things. I know there's a couple hostels on the way. Looks like for the next couple days we we'll walk right through two or three little towns. So I know that a lot of the folks are watching the weather. See if they want to keep going or pull up for a day and see what the storm's going to do. But I'll head on up the trail and put some miles in and see what that looks like. Let's get her done. Hey, hey. Man, it has been a good day so far. Oh, I'll tell you what, just about had a tragedy though. Came down to Route 30. 
Pennsylvania Route 30 that goes into Fayetteville, Pennsylvania. About half a mile down the road is a restaurant and an ice cream shop called Timbers. Walked down there, had a big old Philly cheesesteak, french fries, Coke, chocolate shake, big old chocolate shake, and then an ice cream cone on top of that. Walked back to the trail, and about the first mile of the trail was a steep climb. I thought I was gonna lose my lunch. Had to back it off a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so good though. I feel like I'm uh, re-energized for the rest of the day. Got about eight miles to go to the uh, shelter site I want to get to. Probably pick a campsite there and, and staying in the tent, man. The bugs are just too bad to try to stay in the shelter. You get in your tent, zip it up, you're good to go. You stay in the shelter, you're at the mercy of uh, critters all night long. So it's all good, pretty day so far. I'm getting it done. See you on up the trail. Hey, good morning everybody. It is Wednesday, 30th day of May. And I believe that makes today day 67. Walking out of Birch Run Shelter. Grabbed a tent site here last night. And Yesterday was a 22.7 day over from Deer Lake Shelter area. Pretty doggone smooth actually for first full day in Pennsylvania. One pretty rough long rock garden, but I tell you, otherwise, man, it's pretty smooth sailing. And uh, today it's going to be a good day. Only about two and a half miles up the trail is the actual midpoint mileage wise of the trail and then at about mile 10 it's pine grove furnace village with uh, a general store that has the half gallon challenge uh, ice cream deal i don't know if i'll do that or not might just grab a big milkshake but and after that, at mile 20, I forget the little town, but uh, Holly Spring, maybe, there is a, an inn that's only a couple miles from Trailhead. And I'm thinking about hitting that thing up tonight. Do a little laundry, take a little shower, wash some stank off. So... Yeah, man, so far so good. Pennsylvania hadn't been too ugly. I know it's up there and waiting, but we hadn't hit it yet. So, let's get some miles down and go get some ice cream. See you up there. Well, check it out. It's kind of like the light at the end of the tunnel. Kind of cool. All right, so here we are. Mathematical halfway point. Let's count down to Katahdin from here. Yes, sir. Getting her done. All right. It's been a good morning. And I'm walking down to the road to head into Pine Grove Furnace and down to the general store, hopefully for some breakfast. I believe it's west, which regardless of uh, compass direction of the AT, if the map says west, it means left turn. And if there's a sign that says Hikers, <laughs> turn left, right on. All right, then there's a the white blaze. And there's a sign for Pine Grove Furnace General Store. That's the location of the half gallon challenge. But I'm gonna tear up some breakfast first. And then maybe if there's room, we'll see about that challenge.
All right, heading out of Pine Grove Furnace. And I uh, have to say that the general store did not disappoint. That was a good burger and fries right there. Chocolate milkshake was amazing. And uh, lots and lots of hikers doing the half gallon challenge. But I chose to use the room in my gut for real food. And I'm hitting the trail. So, so after 12, I believe my options are a campsite at about 10 miles up the trail or a shelter area that's about 12. Just gonna mosey on and uh, see how it feels and see where we wind up. Right now the trail is just going around the cinder greenway out of the little village in the park. Kind of nice through here. Definitely nice to be walking on a flat smooth surface for a bit. I'm sure that will change soon. After all this is Roxylvania. Lots of hikers around here in Boiling Springs. Came from down that way. And the first thing you see when you get here is an ATC regional office, which is cool. And you just come up to the street. Right over there is a post office. And you turn left. Hey. Right up there is a service station that has enough resupply to get you through a couple days. Up there's the park, uh, Restaurant 101, and then right there's an outfitter. All within 200 yards of each other. So, Boiling Springs is my new favorite trail town. People are super nice and it's amazingly convenient. All right. Got about 16 miles to Darlington Shelter. Gotta get her done. All right, walking out of Boiling Springs. Went to Cafe 101, and my belt on my pack will barely close. I had breakfast skillet, orange juice, chocolate milk, Coke, a large coffee refilled about twice. And on the way out the door, a large chocolate shake. And that's about all my gut will hold right now. Luckily, it's a pretty smooth walk from here to uh, Darlington. It's a white blaze over there on the telephone pole, so doing a little bit of road walk for now. But I'm sure we'll turn down off of this and. Man, it's like the trail is about to eat this bridge right here. It's kind of cool. All right, man. Today's been a good day. Started off uh, going into Boiling Springs and having an amazing brunch. And the walking's been pretty easy. The only uh, downside, it's been a pretty bad mosquito day. But um, finally broke down, put some poison on. Backed them off a little bit. About two miles out of Darlington Shelter. And uh, I believe that's pretty much a 20 day. Looking forward to putting the tent up, getting behind that screen and uh, getting some quality horizontal time away from these mosquitoes. And that sets up a pretty short walk into uh, Duncannon tomorrow. So, all in all, it's been a good day. I'll see you on up the trail. Hey, 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 good morning, everybody. TGIF on Friday, 
first day of June. It's a little before seven and I'm heading out of Darlington Shelter. Today is about 12 miles into Dun Cannon and I'm gonna catch a shuttle over to Mechanicsburg and spend the weekend with Miss Bird Dog and Max. They're driving up today, should be there later this afternoon and evening. And uh, we're gonna double or triple zero, man. I'm looking so forward to it, ready for a break. Get refreshed, swap out some gear. Uh, speaking of swapping out gear, man, it is amazing the support I've had on the trail. And uh, the latest being uh, friends and neighbors, Mike and Kelly Day, they reached out to me and wanted to help, wanted to send something that would be of value on the trail. And, and uh, Mike suggested shoes. And man, I tell you, shoes are very timely. These I'm wearing are probably 600 plus miles and they are ready to switch out. And Mike hooked me up with the same pair of shoes and Tammy is bringing them today. So Mike and Kelly, man, I hope y'all watch this. I really appreciate it. That is awesome. And I will put them to good use for another 600 miles or so before I need a new pair. That is amazing. Anyway, yesterday wound up being a little shorter than I thought. It was 18.2 over to Darlington Shelter and the Taj Mahal Privy, which as privies go was nice, but it definitely is not the premier privy on the trail. Sorry, Taj Mahal. But, uh, and man, right now, I don't remember the name of the shelter site, but it's a couple, three, four shelters back. The entire site was immaculate. The shelter, the grounds, the tent sites, the spring set up, and the privy had came stock with TP and hand sanitizer, and it was by far the cleanest, nicest setup yet. So, Taj Mahal may have the name, but uh, it does not have the Premier Privy, I uh, have to say. All right, anyway, let me get rolling. It's 12 miles into Dun Cannon. Trail Angel Mary shuttle will be waiting on me, and uh, we're going to hitch a ride. So, checking a little bit later on. Hope everybody has a good Friday. Looking forward to a good weekend. I know I am. Yeah, the trail is up through there. Barely can see it. Nice. All right, finally a view in Pennsylvania. And I'm guessing that down there is Dunn Cannon. At least I hope so, because that's where I'm heading. A little less than two miles out. Looks like it sits right on a river, a little side river here. Heading up this way. And then back out in the country. Good view, easily the best view so far in Pennsylvania. All right, let's get on down there. All right, walking into Duncannon, Pennsylvania. And I'm not sure exactly where this is gonna wind up. It's supposed to go to High Street, but it's doing some random road walking right now. Looks like these old houses have seen their better days. Anywho. Man, it was good to get down off the mountain and out of the woods. The mosquitoes are fierce today. They are tough to keep off of you. All right, looks like we're gonna have a right turn up here. 
go under the highway. All right, man, I gotta pay attention to traffic.